Chapter 31. Oh God, okay. Are we all ready for this? Okay, I don't know what's about to happen. I'm nervous about what's going to happen. There's a possibility that there may be some content not suitable for children. Just throwing that out there. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna take a chance here. Oh, do we have to go through all this again? <laughs> yup, we do. He walked over to me and without hesitation, he grabbed my cheeks and planted his lips on mine. My body immediately started following his lead. It felt so right and so natural with him. It brought me right back to our first kiss as kids, only this time it was filled with passion. His tongue found mine and his hands moved their way from my cheeks down caressing my body. He started undressing me and I started undressing him. I knew exactly where this was going. It was about to happen. Oh god, oh god, okay. Play that special art scene. Dear baby Jesus, wow. Okay, I wrapped my legs around him as he pressed me up against the wall. There was nothing we wanted more in that moment than each other. It was like a switch had flipped, making me forget all of my worries. Will's kiss moved down my neck and my breath quickened. That boy knew exactly what he was doing and it was driving me crazy. I've always said everything I did with Will felt natural in this. Well, this was no exception. We were completely in sync all the time. His hands explored every curve on my body. My little heart almost couldn't take it anymore. He lifted me gently down onto the carpet. His strong arms didn't show the slightest sign of weakness. He was in control. As I thought our kiss couldn't grow any more passionate, it did. The night was young. It was perfect. But perfect didn't last forever. Along with the sun came my doubts. And well, my regrets. Will had a plane to catch later and we had to say goodbye. Will, what happened last night was... Wait, 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 wait. They did it? I honestly don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> well, they don't look too happy about it, honestly. Is that, you know, the face of someone who just got their flower picked by their best friend? I don't know, but we're gonna go with amazing. Amazing, but we didn't think this through. What is that supposed to mean? When I look at you, I don't see my best friend anymore. I see a guy I just slept with. Yup, they definitely did it. I don't want us to be friends with benefits. Mia, I don't want that either. I want you to be my girlfriend. But I guess you don't want that. You think this was a mistake. I, I don't know what I want right now. I don't know how I feel. Ouch. Okay, well, if that's the case, I'm glad this at least got to happen. It was the most amazing night of my life, Mia. I have to go. My plane leaves in a few hours. I'll make sure to send you lots of pictures as promised. Will, please. I'm sorry, I... See you in a few months, Mia. Wow, that was cold. I basically just ripped out his heart. I felt sick to my stomach for what I'd done. I instantly regretted what I had said. Couldn't I have at least get my mouth shut until he got home again? Let him leave and be happy and in love rather than sad and heartbroken? When do you learn to shut your big mouth, Mia? I had to get back to the Collins. I didn't exactly want to after Daryl once again screamed at me yesterday. Since Selena is visiting her parents in Seville and since Cassie quit, well, he thinks Daryl's expecting me to clean the house. So that is what I went home to do. But then, get in the car. What? Is that my suitcase? Yes, now get in the car. <laughs> Should I be scared? I had it come home last night and after the set I pulled with Kylie, I thought he had had enough of me. He was finally throwing me out. Daryl, please, I really need this job. Please don't do this. Just get in the car, Mia. Oh god. I was sure he was about to drive me home. I was at my breaking point. I almost couldn't hold back my tears. Mia, I... Just don't, Daryl. No, please, listen to me. I... I want to apologize. I didn't know if you'd go if I had asked you, so... What? I want us to fix things. If not romantically, then professionally. I've ridden a cabin in the woods. I wanted us to get away for a bit and talk things through. Huh? Oh my god! That makes me so happy. I could cry. <laughs> I dried my eyes and sniffled. Really? That that makes me so happy, Daryl. It makes me so happy to hear you willing to give me another chance. I was so relieved that Daryl and I would try and fix things. Maybe we would never be romantic again, but at least we'd figure things out. I know that would mean a lot to all of us, especially Kylie. So, where is the cabin located? In this nice little town called Pine Hollow. You'll love it. Wait and see. I felt incredibly guilty for feeling the butterflies in my stomach. The ones Daryl always give me, especially since everything remotely related to Will. 
made my heart ache so bad in my chest. And, well, <laughs> butterflies. Doesn't get any more will than that. It took around three hours to get to the cabin. The surrounding landscape was like it was taking straight out of a fairy tale. Flowers, birds chirping, and the smell of fresh air surrounded us. It was only a small drive on the cute dirt road before we reached the cabin. Daryl, this is... Um, I don't know what the first word means, idyllic, but we're gonna go with beautiful. So beautiful. I'm glad you like it. Let's go inside. I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit skeptical about this. It seemed a bit too good to be true, but I decided to give him the benefit of the doubt. I could feel that was what my heart wanted me to do. Your room is upstairs to the left, and mine is over here to the right. Um, we could have shared a room. <laughs> Should we do it? Yeah, you know what? We're gonna be ballsy. Bummer, I could have easily seen myself snuggle up to him. <laughs> Great, I'll go freshen up and then I'll make us some dinner, okay? Perfect. I thought my room was cozy. How cute, I like it. I need to freshen up a bit. Let's see what outfits he brought me. At least he packed a lot so I can hopefully pair some cute things. Okay, yay, we get to pick our outfits. Ooh, I like this one. What is choice number two? A dress with a statement necklace. Oh, that's cute. What's the third one? Boyfriend jeans and tea. Eh, I really like the second one. It's so cute. I really like this one. It looks good. We're gonna go with this one. This'll do. That was delicious, Mia. Thank you. I wanted to learn to cook some Mexican dishes to feel closer to my mother and my roots. I'm sorry, Mia. I, I forgot that you know how it feels to lose a loved one. It's okay. We all deal with it differently. No, it's not okay. I've been a jerk. Again. I... I got scared because I started to really care about you. I couldn't even cope with the thought of not being with you. So, I tried pushing you away. I shouldn't have done that. Daryl, if you're still interested, I'd like to tell you what happened to my brother. Um, only if you're ready. Only if you feel you're ready to share it, Daryl. I am. Can we go for a walk? I think I'll need the fresh air. Sure, whatever you need. Oh, I love this scenery. It's so pretty. It was beautiful out here. The moon was full and we were surrounded by fireflies. I didn't dare comment on it. I knew Daryl probably hadn't noticed the romantic setting. As his mind was wrapped up in the story of his brother's death. Okay, okay. In the summer of 2012, I was at a conference in Seville in Spain. I was just about to finish school and could finally call myself a teacher. So everything was working out for me. Things couldn't get any better, I thought. But then I met her. Elena. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that was me. I should watch where I'm going. I met her at the conference. I instantly fell for her gorgeous accent. Not to mention her looks. We started dating for those two weeks I was there and continued long distance when I got home. Callie would like to go on a horseback riding camp this summer. Caitlin will be alone, Daryl. I was hoping you could spend some time with him. Can't you take him with you to Seville? I'm visiting my girlfriend mother. I'm not bringing my little brother to that. So I'll have to hire a babysitter for three weeks then. Why can't you just take him with you to M Milan? Because it's a business trip, Daryl. I'll barely have time for him over there. Sigh. Fine, I'll take him with me. He will love it, Daryl. You owe me big time. We spent most days on the beach, not far from Seville. It was pretty undiscovered by tourists. That way, I got a lot of alone time with Elena while she kept Keelan happy as well. Are you okay, buddy? I'm fine. That kid is gonna be the death of me. Oh, come on. He's not that bad. He's annoying as and he's always getting himself into trouble. Will you look at that? He really is your brother then. Watch that insolent mouth of yours, my Spanish beauty. Oh, goodness. We were so consumed by each other. I was so consumed by her that... I didn't notice Kaylin had been swept out into the ocean by a rip current. Oh no! Are you cold? Yeah. Let's go home then. It's getting dark soon too. Oh no! Kaylin, we're going home! Kaylin! Kaylin! I immediately had a bad feeling. Something was definitely not right. There were no other people near us. I started to panic. Kaylin! Kaylin! Lena called the police as I desperately tried to locate my baby brother, but it was too late. Oh, that's so sad. <gasps> no. They had searched for an hour when they found him. I could immediately tell by the look on the policeman's face as he approached us. Oh my goodness. Mr. Collins? No. Oh, oh my 
my poor baby. Oh, that's so heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking. Daryl's eyes filled with water as he was choking on the last sentence. I couldn't hold my tears back either, no matter how hard I tried. How he ever thought he killed his brother tore my heart into pieces. It was an accident. I should have watched him instead of making out with my girlfriend. Daryl, mm, don't blame yourself. Please don't blame yourself. It was an accident. An accident that could have been prevented had I just looked after him. My mother couldn't look at me for six months after. I knew she blamed me too. And Callie completely withdrew into herself. He was her twin and she felt like she had lost a part of herself. As did we all. I started drinking. I was suicidal. I had no one but Elena, who lived on the other side of the world. Three months after his death, she decided to leave me for another man. She said she couldn't live like this anymore. What a b What a b You needed her. More than anything. I got into rehab and I lived there for another six months to sober up. It wasn't until then I started to feel alive again. My grandmother started getting sick at that point and so my mother had to travel to Singapore more often. I got to spend a lot of time with Kylie and we kind of helped each other heal. I didn't want her to go on that camp because I couldn't even think about her near water without feeling sick to my stomach. I wouldn't survive losing her too. I know I can't keep her home forever. In that moment, something clicked inside me. I saw the real Daryl again. The one I saw in the woods in Finland and the one who protected me in the bar. For the first time, I felt like I had finally figured him out. All the pieces of the puzzle finally fell into place. Aww. I can't hold myself back anymore. I was completely and utterly in love with this Daryl. He had finally let down his guard and now I didn't only see glimpses of his true self. I saw all of him. His heart, his intentions, and his scars. I wanted to help him, to hold him, and to protect him. I wanted him. Oh, that was so cute. That was so sad, but so cute. Oh, I don't even know how to process. But okay, if you guys like this episode, then you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. And yep, keep it spy.